Hey guys, so um, if you see me in these color tops and dresses and anything in this kind of color, you could probably guess that I have a TV segment to do. Because um, I tend to wear these bright, corally pink colors uh, for TV just because I like it and it's sort of like my color that I'm just addicted to. So if you're ever wondering, I've gotten the question a few times, so I wear this color a lot. Um, that's why. But today, for my outfit, I want to talk a little bit about body conscious skirts. They're still in, they're still pretty popular, and a really easy thing to wear. Um, actually, surprisingly, for a lot of body shapes, they're easy to wear. I know a lot of people are sort of surprised by that, but they hug your curves. So if you're comfortable with your curves and you feel good in your body, then body conscious skirts and um, dresses kind of work really nicely. I tend to do more of the skirts than dresses because I feel like your whole body tight is a little bit harder. So that's probably the first tip is to look for a top. Let me show you the skirt first. Um, this is the skirt. It's just a black BCBG, um, really fitted body conscious skirt. And my shoes are Christian Louboutin, just to show you the whole outfit. But the key to doing a, um, a skirt like this is, um, first of all, you want different proportions. So these sleeves have a lot of volume on them. The shirt I have a little, um, is a little puffed out, so that has some volume on it. It's not showing too much on top. It's not tight to the body. Um, so it kind of lets the skirt stand out and do all the, all the, you know, fitted sexiness kind of and the rest of it is a little bit more conservative which I think works nicely with a body conscious skirt the second thing that you want to think of is that it does hug your curves in all the right places um, and these skirts you can kind of wear depending on where your waist is I, t I like to wear them um, right up to my waist so right about here I feel like that's where they look really good and um, you want the length to be somewhat close to the knee you don't want it to be like a body conscious skirt and up here I mean unless you're going out at night I think you want it to stay a little bit longer and again you want it to fit all the way down so the whole thing completely fits down um, all around the body that's what makes it a body conscious skirt and um, Definitely important to think about where it sits. You can wear it a little bit higher if you were to do, like I've done um, just like a little white tank and I wear the skirt a bit higher just for that higher waisted look, so that works too. But they don't really look good if you wear them too low on the hips, these type of skirts. They kind of look good right at the waist. Um, they're very feminine and that's the reason why, one of the reasons why it looks good right there and the knee length. The knee length lets you kind of get away with it a little bit more for work atmosphere, but again, it does depend on where you work. Um, I don't think you should be walking into any office or, um, you know, really corporate atmosphere wearing a body conscious skirt because it just won't look right. The other thing that I like to do is um, to cover the back a little bit, I like to untuck the shirt. So I do, I tuck it in the front and then I untuck it in the back for more of a loose, casual look of the skirt and um, of the top. And, uh, you know, kind of complements the skirt a little bit and doesn't show off too much. So those are just a few tips. I hope you guys like them. Um, if you're watching, I'll try to put a link. I will be on Fox News today talking about the Emmys and what goes on behind the scenes, like what us stylists and PR people do um, to prep for these awards, how much some of the dresses cost, how the stars borrow them, and um, why they need security guards with their jewelry. So if you guys want to see that, I will try to put a link to that segment too um, as soon as it airs in the comments below, in the box below. Leave your comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.